we are going to download, install, and configure the print driver for the Macintosh OS X for your Xerox multifunction device. So first of all, we need to go to Safari and go to Xerox.ca or Xerox.com. And from there, we want to click on Support and Drivers. In this example, we're going to be printing to a Xerox Work Center 7845. So as I type 78, I can just come down here and select this. Our device has a built-in controller, so we will simply click on Drivers and Downloads. We want to do a quick check of the operating system. It picked up the right one, or 10.8, so that's good. And as we have a look in the driver section, there's two drivers there. If you look carefully right here, the one at the top is 2.94, and the one at the bottom is 2.84. So I'm going to take the latest and greatest, which is 2.94, and it's always a good idea to click on the plus sign and read the description. So here it's saying it includes a Xerox printer discovery and print queue creation for quick setup and use. Perfect. As well, there's a caution. Um, in the Macintosh world, to print we need PostScript. So they're saying here that this other product, the 5325, 5330, 5335, may require the optional PostScript kit in order to use a PostScript print driver. The printer that we're printing to, it has PostScript standards, so we're good to go. We can simply click on Mac print driver. From here, we can just scroll down and click on Accept to the License Agreement. And now we are starting to download the print driver. We'll click over here to watch your progress. All right, our print driver has been downloaded. We can take a shortcut. We'll just double click on the download section. This will open up the package. And here's our print driver. So to start the install, we'll double click. We will click Continue. And continue again. You can select your language. Come down here and say continue. We agree to the license agreement. And we'll click install. We will need the administrator name and password of the Macintosh. So we'll just type that in right now and click install software. The print driver is loaded. Now this is this, that wizard that's going to look for printers on our network. So it's found too in the local subnet, but my printer is actually in a different building, so I'm going to need to, to add it manually by specifying the IP address. So to do that, I'll just simply click on this icon here and type in the IP address. And there it is, it's found it. It's found our Xerox Work Center 7855. I can click on continue and congratulations. Print driver has been set up. We can now print. We can click on continue and installation was successful. We have now got the print driver loaded, but we need to configure it for the installed options on the device. We will click on the Apple symbol and come down here to system preferences and come across to print and scan. There's our device and over here we need to specify the options. So we'll click on options and supplies. Under driver, we will configure it as per our configuration sheet that was printed at the device. In my case here, I've got six trays. For the finisher, it's the professional finisher. We've got the two and three hole punch, and we have Landfax installed, and the job storage module is also installed. We can click OK, and actually we can even close this window here. Now our print driver is downloaded, installed, and configured. We are all ready to print.